All right, so rain showers hanging out with us for another couple of hours before we start to get rid of the heavy stuff. And then by noon, everything will finally start to wrap up. You can see where the heaviest sits, mainly in our southeastern counties at this point between Bell and Harlan County. But as the radar keeps moving, those uh, yellow and orange areas are going to start to shrink, especially those red areas, too. Those are going to be going down uh, pretty quickly. But let's go ahead and highlight just a little bit. Uh, you can see where the surface front is. Pretty interesting, that thin line of yellow that's sitting between uh, southern Clay County and up near the uh, Hal Rogers Parkway. That is where the surface front sits. So that is where the cold air is going to start to filter in right behind this line right here. Light rain behind it and slackening off as it goes towards bluegrass, but the heaviest of everything is right along the Virginia state line, primarily in Harlan County at this point, where some really heavy rain is coming down in a few spots. So uh, beyond that, it's just waiting for these uh, water levels to go down. We still have high water almost everywhere in our forecast area. These are all flood warnings uh, that sit in effect at this point. There's some advisories, but for the most part, it's just saying that a lot of those low lying areas are still pretty flooded at this point. Flood watch goes until seven o'clock this morning. And what that means is that once we get to seven o'clock, the water levels will not be able to go up anymore because of how light the rain will be or non-existent. So at seven o'clock, that is when we start the clock for water levels to start to come down and all the way throughout the week upcoming, we have dry weather. So that of course is good news. Relief is on the way. We have a chance to clean up. We have a chance to let water levels go down. But until then, cannot stress enough, even if you have a high clearance vehicle, uh, there's just no reason to chance driving through a flooded roadway. It's not just the fact that your car could be swept away. It's more the fact that some of those underwater hazards, maybe the roads damaged it and you can't see it. And if that happens, you pop a tire, you're stuck and you're not going anywhere and a rescue is going to have to happen. So until those water levels are clear of the roadways, just don't chance it. Take another route. All right, so you see the rainfall moving its way out through southeastern Kentucky. In fact, by about noon, we should finally be rid of everything. It could be a few drizzle showers left over, but not expecting much sunshine already working in. It's going to be with us throughout the rest of the day. At that point, everyone gets it. And then by tomorrow, a mostly sunny day free of rain, except for maybe a few spots along the Tennessee state line. But I think for the most part, that's going to be drizzle if we even get it. It's high pressure and it's keeping a lot of what's coming in with that secondary system well to the south. So we don't have to worry about too much except for temperatures cooling every once in a while. We do have these dry fronts coming in from Canada and they're transporting some pretty cold air. Now it moderates by the time it gets to us, but it still takes those temperatures down from the nice mild 50s to the 40s where we're going to be sitting through most of the week. Let's talk about some of that rainfall throughout the day yesterday where we had the bulk of everything come in and we were setting records at pretty much every official reporting station that we have out there. The only spot that didn't quite break a record was uh, Paducah came in just shy of their daily record yesterday, but everywhere else uh, breaking those records. And today I uh, wouldn't be surprised if we do that again. All right, so plenty of sunshine throughout the rest of the week, but more importantly, dry weather to let the rainfall subside, to let the water levels go down. Next best chance of rain gets here on Saturday. All right. Back